Tommy, you've been driving for hours. I could take the wheel for a while. Tommy Steele lives for the open road. He's a free bird. We've been in this ruddy submarine since Tuesday. I haven't had a shag in two days. A man has needs. That didn't stop you from ruining my linens. One of these days, you'll find yourself hoisted by your own petard. Hoisting me on petard is what rubbish your sheets, isn't it? My unmentionables! Save my manties! We're hit! Ah! and not in a good way. Oh, get this rod out of me. Oh, 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 oh! Don't worry, Ripper, keep pushing. Oh, I can see it oh, ahead. Bloody hell! Never fear, my dears. I'll get us out of here. Is you calling an ambulance, mate? Max, it's Spunky. Who? It's me, your old pal and protege, Spunky. From Sex Swing, the band you manage? Sparky, baby! Maxie, we had a little accident with Van Halen. Oh! Max, are you all right? Ugh, no, I'm not, GD, all right. I got an ulcer the size of my ex-wife's clitoris. Poor Diane, she's a saint for carrying that thing around. Oh! Speaking of burdens, it's Max to the rescue once again. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna call my friend Antoine. He's a junker in El Paso. Don't tell him you know me. Second. Max? Max? What after Antoine? What after Antoine? Hello? Christ on a cracker, the batteries pooped the bed. Oh, I'm gonna rutty die out here, isn't it? If you die, can I have your pole? Quit crying, you wet-nosed diaper dandies. Salvation is upon us. I'd say this place is hybrid heaven, but that would be redundant. V8 turbo diesel, four-speed automatic, and a place to stack the bodies. I like that one. Perhaps it's some type of ambulatory vehicle containing first aid equipment? I mean, that breezer looks wicked ace, mate. Who dares go there? Is that you, God? I regret nothing. Pardon our manners, or rather, lack thereof. We're Sex Swing, a rock band who currently find ourselves in a predicament not unlike our traveling minstrel forefathers of yore. You see, we were a Peter on a pogo stick. If you think you're gonna scare Tommy Steele with a couple pussy pellets, you ain't gonna- Holy crawl! Run to the trenches! We're out gun! This dealership is dead, and you will be too weak. Over here, comrades. Hurry! You saved us, stranger, but who are you? Billy Zane! Zahn! What are you doing here? All shall be revealed. But first, hot cocoa? Zane, where'd a glory hole like you learn to bust a slug like that? 2011, sniper reloaded. It takes more than a pretty face to bring inexperienced civilian turned deadly sniper Richard Miller to life. For a second time. Tommy Steele don't understand a goddamn word you just said. Excuse me, mate, do you have a band-aid or something? Maybe some gauze? Masking tape? A decorative sticker? I'm really losing a lot of blood here, mate. I wish I could help you. But unfortunately, I've never portrayed a doctor on screen or stage. It would be unethical of me. Billy, what in the World Wide Web just happened out there? This dealership used to be a place of light, of love, of 12-month financing no money down. It was the Zane Family Car Dealership. It's been in my family for generations. As a child, I aspired to one day become a car salesman, the best car salesman, but life doesn't always work out the way you hope, and the salesman game wasn't my forte. I had no choice but to give up my dealership dreams and pursue my fallback career in acting. My twin brother, on the other hand. Twin brother? Twin? Willie Zane. Willie was the one who wanted to be an actor, but he was crap at it. I tried to get him some bit parts, but nobody wanted a guy who looked like Billy Zane, but couldn't act. 
And while I was away, acting, Willie turned deranged and obsessive, locking the dealership's gates. His control, ultimate. His revenge, complete. Ooh, it's like something out of a movie. A movie I can handle. I know movies like the back of my hand. Willie scares off every customer. We haven't sold a car in months, even though our deals are insane. Sell a car to us. We need a new van. I can't. Willie would never allow it. Sounds to Tommy Steele like Willie needs a boot up his mud hole. Yeah! Don't do it! You'll get us killed! Get out here, Willie Zane, and show Tommy Steele your mud hole! <laughs> Please, Willie. Why are you acting this way? I told you never to use the A word! You will sell Tommy Steele a minivan or face the wrath of rock. I don't think I'll be doing that. Yeah! <laughs> I was supposed to ride away. The horse wouldn't move. Excuse me, purple man. Is there a hospital around here? Whee! Oh! oh! Enough! I'll make you a deal. I'll sell you a new van, but only if you can best me, Willie Zane, in a death race. Zero percent APR for 12 months, 2,500 down. Do at least signing. You're on. Excellent! Uh, this is a box office nightmare. Trust me, I know. There's no way we can beat Willie. You just put Tommy Steele behind the wheel and that interest rate is as good as ours. We don't even have a wheel to put you behind. Willie isn't just going to give us a car. I have an idea. A Pop-Tart, but the filling is on the outside. Someone make that. That's it. If we don't have a car, we can make one. It may not be pretty, but if we work together and put some of this scrap to use. It's done. Behold! Van Morrison! Simply Titanic. A savvy traveler is prepared for any situation, including a death race. I think I see a bloody angel, and she's waiting for me at the pearly gates. And her knockers are ruddy perfect. Are you prepared to lose, losers? <laughs> Willie, we don't have to do this! Quiet, brother. The time for words is over. It's time for wheels. Three, two, one! <laughs> oh! Ahoy! Curse you, sex swing! You can't get away from me! We ain't gonna make it! The car is too heavy! I can't believe I'm doing this! There's no way you can win! Not if I can ready help it! I see now what my jealousy has done to us and this beautiful car dealership. Can you forgive me, brother? Willie, there's nothing to forgive. I am overjoyed! A sex swing! Allow me to fetch your prize! Thank you, my friends. Though I originally thought you to be vagabonds and, uh, quite frankly, monkey people, I now say that you are truly wonderful spirits. This must feel even better than winning an Oscar, huh, Billy? I was lying! Now prepare to die! I couldn't save Rose and Jack, but I can save you! I can't believe it. I thought he'd really changed. There's no way you could have known that man was insane, Billy. <laughs> it's not the end, mate. And remember, sometimes your family ain't the one that pops out of your mom's fanny. Sometimes your family is the one you make yourself. 
the one that cares about your well-being above all else. Uh, thanks, guys. Now, I think it's time that Van Morrison found a worthy successor. Don't you? Are you sure you don't want something a bit fancier? I got these clothes from a dead clown. Or at least he said he was. Oh, they don't make them like this anymore. Well, legally, they can't. Best of travels, my friends. Goodbye, Billy. Thank you for everything. You rock, Billy Zane. See you tomorrow! <laughs> it's done. They're on their way to you. <laughs> the operation was a success. We removed the object from your body, Mr. The Ripper. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> better! But you have AIDS. Sex Wing is over. What a fun ride we had. A literal ride in that episode because of the van. It truly was. And a uh, real moment here, everyone. That was my favorite episode of the season. So hopefully we can do more. We'll get there, buddy. <laughs> no, touchy. <laughs> uh, but if you want to see more episodes, please go to roosterteeth.com first. Slash funhouse. That funhouse. No, dot funhouse. Dot fun, um. <laughs>